Hello, I'm Danielle Stimson from Learn Reiki Philadelphia and Taurus. These are your tarot cards for September of 2022. These are general readings, so I suggest that you take a peek at your sun, moon, and rising to get a more complete view of the month ahead. I've taken the astrology of this month into deep consideration when I created the spread that we're working with today. If you'd like to learn more about it or use it yourself, there's a PDF in the description for you to check out. Also listed in the description are information and links about my online Reiki classes, one-on-one uh, -on -one tarot readings and distance sessions, as well as information about my social media, Discord, and Crystal Shop. Taurus, I know you have been going through it. I know, I know, <laughs> this has not been an easy year. Uh, things are gonna be easier than you think this month, but there definitely is some things you need to like continue pushing through, like you're almost there. The light at the end of the tunnel is not another train. Know what you've been through, Taurus is my moon sign, like I get it. <laughs> so I'm with you in this reading. So this here is, uh, first of all, the theme. And here is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card of three empty cups, the other cup, and here he looks just so excited for yet another cup. This is a card of what's seen as like almost apathy. It's a card of I've been through enough. Is this just going to be more of the same? Still feeling left out, really waiting for some really positive change to come along and just being a little bit worn out for lack of a better way to explain it uh, but the magic in this card is that what you're seeking that sort of that full cup that thing that'll help you feel renewed restored replenished is closer than you think and it is the card that we have here that represents the starting point where you are right now is that of judgment judgment is not so much biblical, you're going to heaven, you're going to hell kind of judgment. Judgment is more about reconciliation. It's more about... Judgment is more about coming to terms with what is. Judgment is about forgiveness potentially and either moving on or rekindling things. Uh, sometimes forgiveness has nothing to do with, oh, I forgive you, let's be on close terms. It's I forgive you so that I set myself free. Whatever in those uh, in those extremes you might fall, this is where you find yourself at the beginning of the month. That you've really, with everything that you've gone through, you've learned a lot about yourself. There's a making of peace with things. Things long ago and things more recent. It's seeing things in a new, more spiritual way, but also in a more uh, mature way, in a sense. Uh, this is sort of taking a spiritual or even philosophical view at the things that you have endured and being able to be at peace with where they are in a way that you can move forward in a meaningful way. So you're starting the month off having made progress with what you've been through in the past several months. So that's a good thing. So now for the challenge card. The challenge card comes to us as temperance, but very much like a temperance in the reverse a little bit uh temperance is a card as we see here the angel she's got water she's got fire she's got the moon behind her she's got uh the rainbow here it's a card of just beautiful universal balance in keeping all things fluid uh what temperance really means when it's flipped on its reverse it's basically a caution to uh it's a caution not to move move quickly out of duress. Uh, yes, we've been uncomfortable. Uh, I get that. This is a card that is kind of, as the challenge is warning you to keep things in the flow, keep things in balance as much as you can. Look out for black and white thinking. Be careful not to succumb to feeling like a forced choice or you have to do this or I'm over it and I just, this is the only way through. And I know that Taurus energy tends to get a little bit stuck. And it's almost like when we can't have the stability the way we want it, sometimes it can be a wanting to almost throw up the board and even eat the poison just to move forward and have something go in a direction rather than feeling stuck. I understand this temperance card is telling you though, 
keep with it just like the four of uh the four of cups was warning us yeah there's a lot of emptiness here there's not a lot of fulfillment we're not completely fulfilled but remember we're there this promise will be fulfilled there's something good coming this temperance is warning us to like definitely temper any feelings of bitterness of fear of anxiety there's a remedy there's a there's something we can do to help ourselves move through this time and go just that little bit further so that we can really embrace something much more meaningful on the other side we don't we don't need to take the bitter medicine we can kind of move through the next thing that comes in is the uh the lessons and healing and what's represented to that is the hanged man yes i know even more stuck energy oh joy hooray but this hanged man he's not moving anywhere he's looking in a new perspective he's drenched in all kinds of sacred uh symbols he's got all of the zodiac here in the distance the magic of the position in which he finds himself is that he can see things from a very different angle. That is also some magic back to that, that Four of Cups. Every time that you feel anxiety, difficulty, you feel as though you're pushing against a brick wall and wouldn't you rather just run the other way just to be done with it. Anytime you feel that discomfort this month, the healing remedy is going to be to turn within, to go within yourself and take a deeper look at that perspective. Getting, uh, getting a different point of view. This can even be, if it's not within yourself, the trusted people that you keep nearby. Go to them and have them say, is there, is, is there anything that I'm missing? Think things through that you haven't thought about in a while. Just like you gained some spiritual perspective that brought you to where you are now and some uh, deeper maturity on some really surprising levels like you've already earned, give yourself a little more time to see that there is something quite different on its way in. So yeah, change in perspective, giving yourself time to really take that in. The next and last card we have today is the whispers from your guides it is exactly what it sounds like what advice do your guides have for you this month and it is the hermit which very much goes in alignment with our hanged man so a lot of major arcana which means things are moving big time everything was major arcana with the exception of the focus of where you are now so this is big stuff. This is like big lifetime stuff. This is, you're on, you're right on the edge of finally pushing through. The hermit here is, like I said, that what we're learning to take a chance at a new perspective to see things from a different angle because we can't really go anywhere else right now. The hermit is to take that and make that a spiritual practice. His eyes are closed. He's separate from society. He's kind of pulled away. He's looking within. This staff is, it's really indicative of how he's led by his own light, kind of like following the beat of your own drummer. But ultimately that light is internal. It's not something that someone gives you. It's something you craft and create. This whisper from your guides is to take this month and kind of take it slow this month is the Mercury retrograde month, which really is intended not to be just like messing everything up to mess with us. That's not what it's about. Mercury retrograde is about rather than sharing and expressing, we're going to be reflecting inward. That's what Mercury retrograde is all about. And out of all of the other zodiac signs that I've done these readings for so far for this month this is a very potentially fruitful month for you to really take everything that you have been through and rather than flip up the board and go the difficult way and uh, 
embrace loss just to feel like you're in control and move on rather than do that if you can hang in there reflect inward and really kind of soul search you will come out even far more transformed than you are already and it will lead you in the best possible place this was almost all major arcana that's massive so this is some serious transformation energy and you have earned every bit of that transformation you've been doing the hard work so i wish you all the best this month this is a good card for uh, journaling meditation be it guided or your own uh, automatic writing any kind of intuitive or divinatory arts whatever works for you but take some time to reflect in as much as you can uh, i really do wish you a bright and beautiful september and uh, I do hope to see you again in October. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising. And I hope to see you again in October.